Hi there, stampers and crafters. My name is Tammy White from stampwithtammy.com and welcome to our online class where today I am going to share how to make these gorgeous boxes quick and easy with one sheet of 12 by 12 designer paper. You're also going to want one sheet of 12 by 12 or regular cardstock for the for the bottom of the box too. So it's technically two sheets, but the top of it absolutely beautiful so easy. You're going to absolutely flip over these. There are four different sizes, one sheet of paper. All right. So this is my uh, blog club project, which is why I'm on Saturday morning, um, normally on Friday afternoon. Um, and Saturday morning, once a month, my Stanford demonstrator group, we all get together, the bloggers in the, in the group get together and we share a common theme and we create projects for it just to share with you. And continuing with my Christmas in July theme this week, uh, this this <laughs> blog hop is called Christmas in July, and we'll be sharing some early Christmas just to cool you off this summer and get you, get you going early on those holiday ideas. So what that means is you're going to want to pop on over to my uh, stampwithtammy.com blog as soon as this video is over and take the, hop, the tour at their instructions there so you can see all of the awesome projects and be inspired, and also so you can enter to win our giveaway um, and we're giving away a card kit here the looking up card kit and all you need to do to enter is to leave a comment and this is a blog hop entry for this particular prize patrol there, there are different forms of entry they're always free but this particular one is a blog hop uh, comment so you'll want to leave a comment on my blog post that has the hashtag stamp it contest and um, you can enter once per blog so you can enter multiple times by leaving a comment on each of the hops with that hashtag. I'm, I also have a live, so because it's a live a live uh, class, you may be watching live, you may be watching the replay. I, I got to hold that up so you can see it. <laughs> this is the Make a Difference stamp set. It's an alphabet stamp set. It's beautiful. I am going to draw a winner. This one is a video comment entry, free as well. Leave a comment on this video, whether you're watching live on YouTube or live on Facebook, and you will be uh, entered to win the live prize patrol. I will draw this immediately following um, this broadcast. And a couple of other notes uh, happening in Stampin' World. Uh, the Paper Pumpkin right now, it's our crafting kit. I jumped on uh, two days ago and shared, was it yesterday or two days? Oh my gosh, I'm losing track of time. <laughs> I jumped on this week and shared um, the July kit that just showed up in my mailbox. And right now we're in the subscription period for the August kit, which is going to going out to our heroes. This one is Celebrating Life's Champions. I have a little bit more information about that on my stampwithtammy.com blog. Just click on the Paper Pumpkin link in the menu bar. And it, you, you'll learn how to subscribe there, more about this kit, and more about uh, Paper Pumpkin. They are phenomenal and just fun fun, quick, and easy ways to craft some pretty cool projects. And it's a great thing to get in your mailbox. Bonus days are ending. So for every $50 that you place in my online store, you get a $5 coupon and from now until August 3rd. So you have a few more days. They have almost a week, almost a week. I'm 24. Yeah. You have a week left, one week left to be earning these coupons. And then you can spend them next month, beginning August 4th unlimited. So, uh, for example, as a demonstrator, we also get the same, um, promotions. And, uh, so I placed my pre-order for this new holiday catalog that's coming out and I got a lot of coupons to spend next month from that pre-order. Uh, if you want to learn more about this holiday catalog, you can also get that information on my blog. Just go to the resource page. I have a link there for this. Um, or go to my specials page at stampwithsammy.com. I'm going to be sharing some things out of this new catalog today. We're going to do a little sneak peeking out of it with our project today. And uh, before we get started with the stamping, just a quick uh, reminder that I have a free PDF there with all of the measurements and all of the supplies that I'm using today. All of the supplies that I'm using are available in my online store. Um, a couple of the items that are in this holiday catalog, uh, you won't be able to purchase until August 4th. However, if you're a demonstrator, you can get them now. Or if you purchase the demonstrator kit, best deal ever, just saying. Uh, you can get those now. You can get them in the demonstrator kit. And we're going to be using the super awesome, uh, bright, brightly gleaming designer series paper, which you guys love this, right? Everybody loved, loved, loved this designer series paper. It came out in last year's holiday catalog and it sold out in nanoseconds. Everybody was so bummed out. And uh, so 
Stampin' Up! said, you know what? You guys love it. Let's bring it back. So this is the first time they're doing this, and they're doing this with a couple of uh, products that were super popular last year. Um, this is the Brightly Gleaming Specialty Paper. It's coming back August 4th, unless you, you purchase the demonstrator kit or are a demonstrator, in which case you can get this now. It is gorgeous paper. You can see it's got copper uh, foil in it. And on the back, it's got nice, pretty designs, the colors in it. And I'm just going to do a quick, quick reveal there. Uh, we'll use, I, you know what? It's hard. I use three different, I've got three different sets of boxes here that we're, I'm, I'm just going to make one set today. I made some with windows so you, you can see the treats that are inside. I made this set without windows so you could, you know, put a surprise inside. You can even put gift cards in there, jewelry, any kind of treat candy. You can make these for Halloween, make little Halloween treats out of them. That's so many things you can do with them. So fun. Um, these two I, I did with windows. I, the one I said I'm going to make is with windows. The only difference between the two is that you wouldn't um, cut out the window and put the window sheet in. So if you wanted to make them closed, it's really easy to do. Okay. Which one to do? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I, what do you guys think? Do you want to do this? Navy stars? We want to do one of these. This one's different. I haven't done that one yet. I personally, you know what? I'm doing this one. <laughs> I'm doing the pretty peacock. <laughs> I love this. I love the pretty peacock color and, the, and the, the copper foil together. I love anything with copper foil in it. And we will also be using the coordinating copper foil sheets. You can purchase uh, the, the sheets in my online store too. I'll be using those to cut out these jingle bells. And those jingle bells are brand new. Brand new. Yeah, they are. So, um, this is, uh, this is a bundle. You can purchase them separately. Again, demonstrators can get these now. Uh, customers will be able to purchase this in my online store August 4th. Uh, sounds of the seasons dies is what I'm using to cut out the ornaments. So it's these dies and they coordinate with this stamp set. However, instead of using the stamp set, I went with itty bitty Christmas and I changed up. You can see all the different, I changed them up because there's a bunch of different greetings on here. So I used a bunch of them. Oh, what yum. Have a sugar sprinkled season. I thought those looked really cute with the, uh, the treats inside, but then there's also, you know, other sayings that you could say, cause maybe you wanted to put something tangible, not, not edible in there. And so you wanted to do a different saying and they're all little and they fit perfectly on the tags that I cut with this die. Cuts three tags at a time, and it's called Trio of Tags. Get it? Trio of Tags. Right? So super easy. They cut out really quick and fast. We'll get to those in a minute. All right. So let's get started with the cool stuff. You're like, oh my gosh, I cannot wait to see this, right? Okay. So for the boxes, the box tops, you want one 12 by 12 sheet of designer paper, scrapbooking paper. You can use any paper here. I'm. This is the Brightly Gleaming that I'm using. And you'll also want one... If it's a 12 by 12, you'll get the most out of it. But if you don't have a 12 by 12 sheet of cardstock for the bases, um, you can you can use eight and a half by 11. I actually am putting both the, the 12 by 12 because they come in assortments, 12 by 12 so do, and the eight and a half by 11 in the instructions because you could use either. So I am just cutting this into quarters. So there's six by six. There's going to be four six by six sheets. And uh, next, I'm going to do some scoring. You can use the scoring blade on here. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the Simply Score tool, though, because I think I'm going to be doing a lot of them, and I think this goes way easier and faster when you're doing a lot. Okay, so the only difference between these is where we're scoring. And all of this, the scoring measurements are all on that PDF. So Linda says, I need that PDF. Yeah, you do. <laughs> so you don't need to write them down. Okay, so... Box number one, we're going to score at one inch on all four sides. So one inch all the way around. And then you're going to take that base. Oh, I'm going to take that base. That makes me start wanting to sing a song. <laughs> I got that base. All right, and we're going to do the same thing with the base of the card. It is the exact same measurements. So we've got six by six measuring at one inch and then you're going to take your scissors or your paper cutter and just snip two tabs on either side so across from each other two tabs i'm going to do that on the top and we're going to do that on the bottom and then 
you can use your bone folder, burnish your lines. Maybe you want to do that before you snip. It's all good. Okay. So I am going to keep going. So I've got the, I've got box number one. I'm going to keep going with all the boxes while we've got this out. We're just going to keep on rolling. All right. So the difference in the box sizes is where you're scoring. So box number two, we're going to score all the way around at one and a quarter. This is going to give us a slightly um, smaller box, but a taller box. With each score, the, the box sizes change just a tiny little bit, which makes it really cool. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the base. I'm going to go ahead and um, do the base at one and a quarter all the way around. And just for uh, time's sake, I'm just going to do the lids. Just... So you guys can see it all. All right, so that is box number two. And then we're gonna go to box number three. The, the measurement here is one and a half. So score all the way around, one and a half. This one's gonna make it smaller and we're gonna get a taller box here. Cut those tabs, one on either side. I don't know, I think probably burnishing first and then cutting the tabs because then you don't have to worry about the tabs in the way when you burnish, but you know, what else? It's all good. It's all good. Last one. All right, number four, box number four. One and three quarters is what we're scoring at all the way around. F pretty simple, right? Because basically that's all there is, is to this box, is your scoring. These are gorgeous papers, aren't they? Absolutely uh, you can see why they were in such demand last year. I would not be surprised if they sold out again this year. This is the brightly gleaming uh, designer series paper and the stamp set and um, die came back too in this holiday catalog. Okay, so I'm cutting the two tabs just like we did. And again, I did the bases. Just pretend I'm doing the bases at the same time, just in the interest of time. I'm just going to go ahead and do the lids. Okay, so going back to box number one, although it doesn't matter what order you do this in. We are going to take those two tabs that we just cut into it, and uh, I uh, I do recommend the stamp and seal for this, just because it's really quick and easy, and you don't have to peel tabs. But if you don't have that, the tear tape works too. You just want something a little bit stronger than your normal seal, because it's whenever I do 3D, I always want something a little bit stronger. And this this new seal plus just it's pretty awesome. Okay. Lid number one. You know what though? I did not want to do that. <laughs> you know why? Because once I attach it, I can't put the, uh, I can't cut the hole in the middle of it. All right. That's okay. I'm going to go ahead and finish this box. We'll leave this box plain. I'll put the, the hole in the, I'll cut the hole in the rest of them and then we'll finish putting those together. So there you go. Tip number one, don't assemble until after you've cut the hole. <laughs> if you want a window. Maybe you don't want a window in yours. So we're going to leave one without a window. And the other three are going to have windows. How's that? Okay, so box number one is made. And we've just decided it's not going to be a window box. So these just slide right in. And boom. So we've got our little, our first little box. Adorable, right? And I chose the cardstock to match. So this was the uh, Pretty Peacock um, designer series paper with the copper in it, and then I took the Pretty Peacock for the base of it. Okay, let's move into cutting your windows. So for the other three, I'll cut windows, and we'll make them the, we'll make them little window boxes. You can do that either way. You could make some of each. Okay, so we've got. We'll pretend that we had box one here. So if we had four. Box number one would take the largest circle from the layering. These are the layering circle dies. So box number one would have used the largest one. Oops, second one, second largest is stuck there. Okay, so box number two is going to take the second largest. So we'll, we'll just jump right into box number two. I also have this written on the PDF, which uh, circles to use. I can't do anything without making a mistake, Benny. She's like, you can't do a lie without making a mistake. I, I, I can't do anything without making a mistake. <laughs> I always find a way to work with it, though. And besides, you wanted to see how to make it with and without the window, right? You want to see both. Okay, so 
Now we've got our window cut out of the middle. That's box number two. You can save this pretty little circle for another project. Box number three, the lid to that one is going to take the fourth largest circle die. So we've got one, two, three. I'm going to take out four and five here just to make sure I got them right. Okay, there we go. I'm going to pop that right in the middle of that little square that we made. I'm going to run that back through. Take our fun mistakes. You never think of your mistakes as bad. They're always learning experiences. Plus, you know what? I make the mistakes to, to teach you what not to do. That's what I say. <laughs> and to teach you how to fix them. Again, save that circle for another project. And box number four is the fifth uh, smallest. Now, you could do different sizes. You don't have to use these size um, circles. You could do bigger, smaller, depending on the size window you want. Maybe you even want to use a different shape. That would actually look really cool, too. There'd be lots of different things that you can do. Yep, Roxanne says a heart die would be great, too. It would for Valentine's Day. Lots of cool stuff there. Okay, so this is box number four. Are you guys excited for the new die cut machine to come out? I cannot wait. We, as demos, we get to get them on uh, August 4th. I'm so excited for that. Okay. And I just threw all the rest of my stuff on the floor. You know what? It's all right. I'll deal with it later. Okay, so we've done box number one. We've got box number two and three here. Remember, these are all cut from that same piece of paper. Now, now we want to put the window sheets on the back before we, um, before we assemble. Okay, so I cut one. I have these measurements for the window sheets if you want to cut windows. That one was for box number one, which we're not putting a window in. We've decided not to. <laughs> I'm going to make it seem like I meant to do that. <laughs> All right, and then I've got window sheets cut for the rest of them. You can purchase these window sheets in my online store. I'm just taking regular seal to attach these. Just kind of going around that um, square on the inside. You could use the seal plus too. Okay, so we've got one. Two. Make sure that window sheet isn't on my fold. That, that window sheet seems like it's a little bit big. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to roll with it. But um, my measurement for uh, window sheet on uh, box number three, you might want to trim it down a hair. If you're using the um, using the measurements on my free PDF that's on the... Is my page up? Somebody's asking for the free PDF, and sometimes that means that my page is not up. I don't know. I can't check it right now. The resource page should be up if I scheduled everything correctly. The free PDF is always on the resource page, which is linked in this video, or go to stampwithtammy.com. Um, if it's not there, if the page is not showing yet, it means there is a problem with my scheduling, and I can't fix it until I'm done with the video. So hopefully it's there. I'm sorry. If it isn't, I'll fix it immediately after, I promise. Okay, I'm going, I am going. just switch back to Stamp and Seal Plus. I know they look the same, but they're actually slightly different. See, this one is darker blue. This one is kind of a green tone, and this is stronger adhesive. So I do want to use that for the box. Okay, so now, you're doing the same steps we did with box one, we're going to go ahead and finish assembling the, the last three box tops. And you'll do the same thing with the bottoms. The bottoms don't have windows. Well, I mean, I suppose you could put a window in there if you wanted to. <laughs> that would be kind of funny. <laughs> okay. Oh, thank you, Tina. She checked the site for me to make sure that the PDF was there. Thank you. I was getting a little nervous because that does happen sometimes that the, the scheduling on it gets messed up. All right, this one, I, the window sheet wasn't exactly good that wasn't it was a little bit too big there in fact I think I need to trim that a hair this is I'm sorry this is going to be a rough cut here <laughs> it's not pretty but it was a little too big there and now I, it's not going to fold quite on the line I think I got to do that with this side too since it's already attached I don't want to take it off so yeah for my um, window box size that I have listed there for box number three you might want to um, up just a little bit smaller. Actually, I don't think I 
I don't think I did box three correctly because this isn't the right. Maybe the window sheet was right. Maybe it's just my score line that's off. I think I scored it wrong. It should be scored up. Yep, that was a problem. Okay, hold on. Actually, the problem was that I made a new score line with that with the bad window sheet. There we go. Way better. Sorry. Hope that didn't confuse anyone. Okay. <laughs> if it did, I will correct it with the next and last box. Okay. Sorry if um, any of that got confusing. Okay, so these are like that's how quick and easy these are to make, right? So we've got one, two, and three, and our final box here. So what all I'm doing to assemble here is I'm taking those two tabs that we cut, putting the seal plus on either on the either side of that tab, and then attaching it on the inside so it's a nice clean line on there. And then I'll do the same on this side. Thank you, Linda. She says very easy to follow. Phew. I like to hear that because early on a Saturday morning <laughs> sometimes. You know, my brain's not always functioning at full speed. And I would have done the exact same thing with the bottoms of the boxes. But through the magic of video, I have them already made. And we don't need this one because... Oh, actually, we do need that one, don't we? No, we don't. I made that one already, so we can put that one aside. So we've got... Nope, I've got them backwards, right? One, two, and three. Try that again. Yes? No? Yes. Okay. So, box two. Done. Sorry for the hair. This one, what is going on with you? I don't like this window sheet in here. First of all, there's adhesive on the side, but it looks like there's a crack in it. I have got another window sheet. I'm just going to cut this down really quickly. It's got another rough cut here. But I'm going to re reinstall the window on that box. It's not easy to do once the uh, the box is assembled. You probably would want to do that before you assemble your box, just for the ease of putting your windows in. I cut that a little too small, but that's okay. That looks so much better, doesn't it? I don't know what happened. Why? I don't know why my window was cracked, but could be worse, I guess. Okay, so we've got box one, box two box two, box three, and box four. Ta-da! That's it. Four boxes, one sheet of designer paper, well, uh, and the cardstock for the base. Ha right, right? Different sizes, four different sizes, and these are pretty good sizes, right? I mean, that's, it, it's, these can fit substantial things. I have got, um, in fact, I'm gonna, I'm, I'll bring some of the other ones in there, but I've got some, you know, full-size cookies in there on these. Okay, so, now let's do some decorating. I've pre-cut these from the, um, from the, um, oh my gosh, I'm drawing a blank here. I've pre-cut these from the dies that I just shared with you earlier. I'll bring them back out so you can see. This is brand new coming out in that new holiday. It's Sounds of the Seasons, the Jingle Bells, and it matches the Cherish the Season stamps, but I didn't use the stamp set. Instead, I'm using the um, Itty Bitty Christmas and these tags were cut with um, the trio of tags die. So I just I just ran this through a few times, boom, 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 because it cuts three at a time, it's really quick and easy, and we're gonna use these words. So, I mean, I did them, each one a little different, but I'll, I'll, I'll decorate one just to show you the basics of what I did. Um, I am gonna share, this is the uh, Sounds of the Season die. And how do you mail your boxes? You're going to mail these? No way. I'm giving this to my mom. <laughs> Otherwise, you would have to probably put it in a box to mail it. Um, but these are probably going to be gifts that I'm actually giving to people. I, I'm not sure if I would be mailing them. But if I would, I would I'd put them in another box. Okay, so this die in the set, the first die oh, I looked at it, I'm like, what the heck is that? And then I realized it cuts out four strips that go each one of their different sizes that go on the four different sized bells. So they cut out these little strips right here when you run it through. And so you can cut those little strips out to match whatever you're making. <laughs> oh, thanks, Mary. She says, deep breath, you're doing good. 
Thank you. All right, so I've I've cut the little strip out of Pretty Peacock uh, paper because that's what I'm using for the um, box. Was Pretty Peacock? There was Pretty Peacock on the designer paper, Pretty Peacock on the um, base, and Pretty Peacock is so fun to say fast three times. <laughs> say it with me. Okay, so we've got four different sized um, ornaments here, and we've got four different sizes of these little strips that go on the bells. And then let's see this little doodad. This little doodad. And then the little baby. I'm not gonna do the little baby one. So I'm I believe I'm not even sure I'm gonna use the little baby one. I kind of found that I used the uh, the larger oops, that was a seal cloth. <laughs> it's a little bit wider than the regular seal. Let's go ahead. I don't want to put that on because there's adhesive all over it. Sorry. What the heck did I just do? I, don't know. I guess we're going to go to with the backup. Sorry. I still have some leftover snails, so they're always at, at hand to use those up. That's You know what? I'm thinking maybe a glue dot might work better for the smaller ones. Okay, so we've got... Aren't those awesome? And then this die also has like a little like you can put you know little decorations here with the that and let's go ahead and do one um all right so i took two of these ornaments and layered them on top of each other using a stamp and dimensional so it pops up uh jim and i asking where do you get that PDF. It's on the resource page. Always. Every single video I have, for those of you who are new, every single class, online class video that I make, I have an accompanying free PDF with all the measurements and information. And I try to make it really easy to get to. You can click on the link in this video's description that says resource page. Or you can go on the web to stampwithtammy.com and Right now, today, this will be right on the home page, and when you click it, the resource page will pop up. Eventually, this video is going to be there in a few minutes as soon as we're done making it, but you will also find uh, the free PDF there. You'll find quick links to all of the uh, supplies that I'm using here, um, and ev you know everything's, everything's quick and easy to find. That free PDF also has the direct URL to bring you back to the resource page, so if you printed it off and needed to go back and find it later because you want to rewatch this video, um, you'll be able to do that easily too. I do try to make it really easy for you to find everything that you need. I am just pulling. Did you see me just whip that out and not even tell you what I had? Do you see this? Copper. Oh my gosh. Right? Stop it. This is coming out in the uh, new uh, holiday catalog. This is called Basket Weave. This is holiday catalog, right? I'm drawing a blank because I had it in with my holiday stuff. So, and it's basket weave. It's this, look at this beautiful green. So pretty, right? This is uh, mint macaron and copper together. So I took the copper from that set and I'm going to use that on my bells. So I've just folded that in half. Oops. String both of those through. Thread them through the needle. I, I lined up the two holes of the ornaments to make that look like they were, you know, swing. It makes it look like they're swinging together even though they're kind of attached. Okay. So we've got our two ornaments. And let's see. We'll go ahead and do that one. And what tag do we want to do? This one's kind of cute. And what do you think for a saying? I have got this one out and it says have a sugar sprinkled season. Let's do it. I'm going to stamp that towards the bottom of the tag. And the reason why I'm stamping it towards the bottom is because I didn't want it to take up too much space on the box. I wanted to be able to peek underneath there. So what I did was I attached this Actually, you know what? I'm going to attach this directly to the box. And then I'm going to attach these guys, these little ornaments here. The big one here with some dimensionals. You could attach this directly to the box flat if you wanted to, too. Okay. 
but I do want to make sure that they're lined up exactly the way I want them. So we got a little tag hanging out there. We've got some little jingle bells. Have a I'm gonna that down a little bit. Have a sugar sprinkled season. And I'm gonna put some cookies in there. And I'm going to give them to the mailman or <laughs> the UPS man. And uh, maybe this one's gonna have a gift card in it. And then I will decorate the rest of these boxes. Um, with the remainder of these exactly the same way or differently if you want to use different things you can I mean there's so many possibilities here with these four and I'm just going to bring back in my my set so you can see these all done and they're different colors so I've got the navy we've got some navy uh, it looks like stars here from the brightly gleaming then I've got the mossy meadow and um, these are the pretty peacock that we just did all from the same designer series paper all right, four different sizes. So quick and easy, right? Anybody can do that. Totally, totally easy, fun. And uh, remember, if you're uh, putting food in these, that you'll want to um, put like wax paper or something, line it with some wax paper on the inside so that it, you know, the paper doesn't, the uh, food doesn't get it all kind of greasy underneath, kind of protects the both the box and your, your cookies. Um, and free PDF, go to snoopwithtimmy.com. I also have the direct URL, URL right up top there. Um, so you get all the measurements there and just, I, I, the instructions are here in the video, but I did, uh, um, take a quick picture of the cardstock top and base. So you can, um, you can see the, the cutting there. And then I have, these are, um, the new stamp set and brightly gleaming paper that I used for today's boxes. And for those of you who are new, Thank you for joining me and welcome. Be sure to subscribe whether you're on Facebook or YouTube. Uh, I am live on both now and uh, very excited to be able to do that again. And uh, be sure to leave a comment. I will be drawing a winner for the live prize immediately following. And uh, I, if you would like to enter our blog hop, you can leave a comment on this post. You're going to want to pop on over to that um, resource page anyways, because the resource page has all of the uh, links to the blog hop. So you can see all of my Stamp It Demonstrator groups. Awesome ideas for Christmas in July. All right. Well, thanks for joining me today.